good morning and welcome to our online congregation. Wherever you are and whenever you're watching, welcome to the Chet Valley. It's the fifth Sunday of Lent and we welcome you to our worship. We celebrate the presence of the one who refreshes, the one who brings streams in the desert, the one who is grace and truth, the one who is peace and love, the one who holds us in life. May grace and truth, peace and love fill our hearts. Awaken, Awaken us, us to fullness, fullness of life. life. Awaken, Awaken us to, to the divine, divine life. life. Awaken, Awaken us, us to who we really are. are. May grace and truth, peace and love fill our world. Shine, Shine from, from here, here as a light. light. Shine, Shine in, in the, the dark, dark places. places. Shine, Shine in, in our, our lives. lives. As we prepare ourselves for worship, we sing our opening hymn, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. Sharing this celebration, let us confess all that prevents true communion. The dark times of our self-centeredness. The wounding times of our divisions. The cold times of our love. So may we find peace and a quiet conscience. We confess, confess the, the times, times when we have put self-interest self before love, when we have allowed what is false to obscure what is true, when we have caused division and hurt and failed in the life of the Spirit. We pray for forgiveness and healing. Christ, Spirit of compassion, you hold us in your love with our light and our shadow, offering us the gift of life. 
For the grace of forgiveness, we give thanks. For grace to forgive others and also ourselves, we offer prayer. And so we sing again, God forgave my sin in Jesus' name. this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old, I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honour me, the jackals and the ostriches. For I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself so that they may declare my praise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We are in the season of Lent at the moment, a time when Christians often focus on things that need to change in their lives. But most of all, it's a time to listen to God, to hear what new things he is calling us to in place of former things. Why should we do that? Let's listen again to the end of the reading. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. We should listen to God because God wants to refresh us, that's why. 
We all have our own wildernesses, sudden deaths, broken relationships, bad decisions, cruelty of others, cruelties of our own. God's word spoken through the prophet Isaiah reminds us not to dwell in the past because God is giving us a way forward when there seems to be none. He creates streams of living water, bringing new life into parched and dry places. Think about what needs to be healed, soothed and washed away in you and your life and relationships. How could those rivers in the desert help restore your soul? I'm about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? What God has in store for us is as satisfying and miraculous as water in the wilderness. He can bring about change, raising us to a new life with more promise and joy than we can ever imagine. Praise God. Think about what new thing God wants for you in your life. How can God's spirit springing forth help to nourish and nurture it? Will there be a new thing in you? I wonder if other people will perceive it. We commit ourselves to look, look beyond, beyond the, the things, things that, that divide us in the world, world to our, our unity in the spirit. spirit. We commit ourselves to look beyond, beyond the deceptions, deceptions and, and illusions of, of the world, world to the, the way, way, the truth and the life of the spirit. God is love, loving each of us with unconditional love. May we love God with our heart, mind, soul and strength and, and our, our neighbour neighbor as, as ourself. Self. We are a one world family. May we reverence our world and all that is in it, seeking true justice and peace as, as we, we show, show compassion, compassion and, and care, care to, all. to all. So shall we be free to play, play the, the play, play of God, God dance, dance the dance, dance of God. God. In morning and evening, in the ebb and flow of life, and, and to, to know, know that all, all is well, and, and all manner, manner of things, things shall be well, and, and that in the, the divine, divine life we have eternal life. And so we come now to our intercessions. Let us pray. As we are open to your renewing springs, let us go where the Spirit calls us, that we may offer prayers and give thanks for blessings received. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, in the beginning, your Spirit hovered over the waters. May we reverence your awesome creation and stop polluting it with poison. In the power of the Spirit, we offer, offer our, our prayer. prayer. Through your prophet, you said, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Bless all those in power and help them to rule with wisdom and justice. In the power of the Spirit, we, we offer, offer our, our prayer. prayer. Your Christ came offering the living water. 
which will never leave us thirsty. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of this world. In the power of the Spirit, we, we offer, offer our, our prayer. prayer. John saw the water of life flowing from the New Jerusalem. May we bring life and refreshment to all those whom we meet. We praise and thank you for the, the abundance, abundance of, of your grace, grace looking, looking to, to the, the gathering together, together of us all in the fullness of the, the love, love of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Together in Christ, let us celebrate the unity we share. As many grains are gathered together to make bread, and much fruit is mixed to make wine, so we who are many and come from many places are one in the risen Lord. May the peace of Christ be with you and, and also, also with, with you. you. If you're with someone, perhaps you would like to share the peace with them. And if you're alone, perhaps you would like to think of someone whom you would like to bless with Christ's peace. We sing our next hymn, In Heavenly Love Abiding. The Lord is here. His, His spirit, spirit is, is with, with us. us. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give, give thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. 
He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all a perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we We proclaim proclaim the the Lord's Lord's death death until he comes. The life of Christ is offered for the life of the world. Here is the presence of Christ in bread and wine, the gifts of God for the people of God, that we may be one with God and in God, the gifts Gifts of of life, the the gifts gifts which which make make us whole. For the blessings of this celebration, let us offer thanks. The gifts of the universe have been given to us. The gift of the presence of God. The gifts of life have been given to us. The gift of the love of God. So may we and all creation give of ourselves that life may be complete and we may be one with the fellowship that is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. Praise Praise and and honour, glory and and power be unto unto our God, God, now and and forever. May we go forward on our journey in the strength of your spirit, and as we have shared heavenly things, so may we find heaven in earthly things as we offer ourselves to you and to each other and allow your love to lead us to eternal life.
May we abide in the light, that we may be lights in the world, held together in love. Amen.